Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the delay. Welcome back to the MLG Pro League Season 3 coverage. Courage joined by Mr. X via Skype. We're having some connection issues between these two squads. Or maybe just some saltiness from Envy as they're down 2-0 in this series. Orbit. Yeah. Looking pretty decent so far. Uh, looks like every single player has decided to join the exact same team. But we are playing Parliament up like Matt. You are not in this lobby because nope. you don't have the DLC at the moment. We'll get that fixed, though, prior to the next time you cast remotely from home, I'm sure. I'm uh, pretty sure I, I'll never uh, remotely cast from home. That That is true. But hey, you never know. Maybe there's an opportunity in the future. Yeah. Uh, things to look out for on this map right now, actually. Looney running a sub. Typically, you see four battles on either team. Oh, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, Facento picking up the kill on J-Cap, the drone in the hands of Octane. He's going to go for the one-point play. Connects off the start, 25 seconds in. Envy's on the board. And Jack, obviously, not in the lobby. Is Envy on the preferred side? Envy is on the uh, non-preferred side. Oh, really? So they yeah. get that first count from well, you the, know what it was. the bad side. So that's kind of impressive. It, it was really what we saw well, What we saw in that OG versus TCM match on this map last week. In the second half of OT, OG just got the first four kills and scored in 20 seconds. They did the exact same thing here. They got the really? first They got the first three kills. I think Vicento was the last player alive on orbit, and he just couldn't hold off the full push from Envy. So interesting. So Envy currently up in this matchup. Obviously, Parliament up like a new map to the rotation. I'm a fan of it. No, obviously has one favorable sign, kind of like how Comeback was. Yep. But I think I know a lot of... AR play on this map. You're going to see that a lot. And then I think you're also going to see some nice scores being put up on the Sentinel squad. Absolutely. One thing to point out is that this map really so AR favored that players like Jurd, and that was the big joke we were making, Jurd was running an AR. Like, when do you ever see Jurd actually pull out that rifle? Typically just a sub player. Looney with the drone in hand now tries to get it in, but unfortunately for him, gets cut down by, well, two bow players from the opposing team. The drone's still close to Orbit's base. Aqua just trying to stay alive and protect it. He's going to go for the play on it now. Grabs the drone. Jumping on the outskirts of the map. Whiffs the beat down there. The drone's going to get reset. Still a 1-0 lead for Envy. Really, Orbit not able to get many things going for him. I mean, only being down one isn't the craziest thing, though, Jack. Right? Oh, I mean, yeah, uh, absolutely. You can easily get a one-point score, even by accident. So, Orbit still in control, uh, you know, of this game. They're able to score some from the Sentinel side. Obviously, oh, this is he's going to have a huge advantage going into the second half. J-Cap going to go for the one-point toss. Falls short. Misjudges that one. The player spawns up on top of the drone. Literally, Burns spawned in and didn't have a weapon because he picked up the drone instantly. Which that was kind of cool. Yeah. Now, he's doing a middle map route. Matt, we don't see this too often. Just running right through the middle. Pops his trophy. He's got some cover from his teammates. Octane, though, with the bow. Picks up the two-piece. Burns not able to toss it in as Octane finds all three. Yeah, Octane able to pick up three players there. Just saw that, Jack. Uh, Octane's so good with the AR. Where do you kind of rank him in your ARs in Advanced Warfare? My biggest thing with him is I just worry sometimes about those clutch, crucial situations. What we saw this past weekend was in one of the S&D games. It was Krim versus Octane, and this one really stuck out to me. Yeah, yes, it might have just been one, been one bad gunfight, but in those moments, it's Krim versus Octane. Krim was in that back science building on Solar S&D in the window. Octane was top pipe side in a perfect head glitch, and Krim just really just took him out in a ridiculous shots, and Octane missed some easy shots, and in the one-on-one -on -one that completely dictated how the game really went from there, Octane just kind of fell short, and if I, it's just one thing that worries me with him. A little bit more of a slow, slower player, reminds me of a Swanee type player, maybe less of a statue type setup, can get aggressive when needed, but if he can just play a little bit more aggressive while still hitting those shots and clutching up in 1v1 situations, I would definitely put Octane well, I mean, I think in one of the better shots. Going clutch will kind of come in time, right? Yeah. I mean, he's a younger player. Well, that, and that's, what, that's what I mean by that. Like, in regards to ranking, like, I still put Krim oh, yeah. above him in my eye, you know what I'm saying? Because of that ability to clutch and the overall experience. But if he had those sort of things, I mean, he would, he would have to be in your top five, top three mentions. Right, his gun skill is right up there. I mean, with all those players, just needs that big game experience, which is not experience, just needs big game experience. Once he gets yeah. that, this guy's going to be a stud. Oh, absolutely. He's absolutely come onto the scene in the last, what, three months, four months with season yeah. two? Since then, it's been dominant performances left and right. He more than deserves to be on a top team like Envy. And you know what I love about him, too? I, I really got to know him this past weekend much more 
he, he's, he doesn't have an ego. He's a nice guy. Easy to talk to. Really want to see him be successful. As Aqua puts in another point. Matt Orbit. 15 seconds left. Looks like they're not even going to score once on side number one. On the good yeah, side. Yeah, that's not good considering they have the good side. Yeah. I know. They're not going to get any points on the board from good side. That is not looking to be something that's going to result in a win on this map in the second half. Especially Envy. They'll take that lead to the good side. And then they'll be able to attack. Looney running that sub all through side number one, finishing that one, I believe, at 12 and 13. Here's your final kill, Adam Happy. Just getting it on JCap, no big deal. Octane, 18 and 9, man, to start off this game. Absolutely outclassing the Orbit players. Oh, great AR's crush on this map. Yeah. I mean, this is a AR dominant map, a very AR dominant map. Is there any map that comes to mind that is more AR dominant than this one right now? I really don't think so. No, not, I don't think so. Yeah. So that's like one where when we start seeing it more and more at events, like this is one to watch out for. Because this is yeah. one that can really go in favor of one squad. Like, like the old Elevate team that didn't have a dedicated AR, I feel like they would have been horrible at this map, you know? With that yeah, but everybody can run an AR, that's the thing. It's like. You don't really look at, oh no, they don't have a one AR, and in this one you need everyone to run an AR. So you need to have four guys deep who can run assault rifles. Who's the best team in your eyes that can do that, OG? <laughs> OG or FaZe? FaZe? I mean, those are so easy answers. I would say Denial as well. I mean, who can ban Slasher? Three very good ARs. Yep. I think those uh, three teams probably the best at doing that. And it just so happens that they are the best teams in the game as well. I think, right. that's more of, I think that's more of a coincidence sort of thing, like, they, yes, they, they just so happen to be the best three teams, but they also have, just so happen to be some of the best shots, whether it's ASM1 or Val. Right, all their players are versatile. Yeah, you think that's what, I mean, that's got to be one of the big reasons why they are also in the top three at the moment. Because, I mean, I, you have I, versatile players, but... Right, I mean, I think that is the reason they're all at the top in the moment. I mean, they have... Four players deep, all of their rosters who are very versatile. I mean, they can play all the game outs, the highest of the ability. Nobody really has that much of a weakness. Yeah. And they can all run the, you know, AR and SMG. This is actually a question I want to ask you. You didn't get to watch too much this weekend, but I'm sure you heard Karma didn't have the best event. A lot of people, a lot of OG fans uh, kind of questioning him on, on the squad right now, kind of trying to see, you know, will he be able to pick things up? Is he the right fit for this team? Yeah. Did you get to see at all Karma's it's, performance, or not it's, really? It's one event. I mean, yeah. I don't really have to see the performance. It's one event. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine Cole making a team change after Pax Prime because we lost Pax Prime? Like, no, that would have been silly. I know, and, and, and for my, I'm, I'm in the same boat as you actually tweeted it last night of how I'm really looking forward to see how he bounces back from this. He just said that it just felt like every gunfight he got in was just a different, like one guy had more help than this guy. He was just, things weren't going his way. People have bad weekends. Looking forward to seeing uh, Damon. Bell. Yeah, I mean, it happens sometimes. I mean, yeah. It happens to everybody. I mean, we've seen everybody have pretty bad events. I mean, it happens from time to time. But uh, I think, you know, overreacting a little bit. I saw a lot of that on my, you know, Twitter feed. Oh, you know, you got to drop Karma. Is he a problem? So you lost one event. There's, there's no problems. I mean, you lost loser bracket and you made a comeback all the way to the finals. Yeah. And I would not consider that a... Well, like a bad loss by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, you ran out of gas towards the end. You weren't playing good at all. Yeah. To your standards, and you still made it to the finals. Well, as we were talking back and forth, Orbit was able to connect with two one-point plays. Finally, there, Envy had the best setup you could ever ask for on this map. With one player grabbing the drone, three players in the opposing team's base set up, watching that far side, that lower side of the map. They were able to dunk it in, now up 5-2, to two, minute 45 seconds remaining, Envy looking to force a game 4. Yeah, and that would be dangerous for Orbit. I mean, they win those first two maps. I mean, Envy, they storm back your win up link. If they... If, I mean, obviously, if Orbit doesn't put them away here, it goes to that hard point. I, I would favor Envy in that one. Envy started to come alive in the second half of that hard point, the first one, the biolab. In the second one, I would definitely favor Envy. Right now, Envy, the host of this game. So it definitely helps them in some ways. Reflecting the score the moment as they are up 5-2. to two. Vicento waiting for the rest of his team to spawn up. There's big, three big kills. They have location of the final player on the map. One minute remaining. 
this is the push that that they could really wind up needing here out of orbit to try to come back in this game. Unfortunately for them, though, the way the spawns work on this side for Envy is that they basically just all spawn up in their base, and it's pretty yeah, easy. Envy. Envy are going to keep spawning on top of their own goal, so it's going to be very difficult for Orbit to get in there and put in those points. Another missed shot out of Orbit. They're just going to reset that one from Octane. He's 33 and 22. Finally gets taken off his two streak a accuracy. 29 and 26 leading his team. Really about 30 seconds remaining. Still a two possession game. Don't see how Orbit comes back in this one. Octane leading Envy to what looks like a game three victory and staying alive in this series. And the next one obviously gonna be a hard point. That's gonna be a huge one for Orbit. I think they really need to close it out there. It goes to a game five. Gonna be difficult for them to win that one, Jack. Do you know what the fourth map is? What the fourth point's map gonna is gonna be Retreat on Orbit's host, I believe. That's interesting. I mean, Retreat, you'll probably see two ARs from each team. I believe, you know, maybe probably JCap gonna run the second AR yeah. for Envy. And as we were talking about before, you know, Definitely feeling under the weather tonight. You no, know, I believe he said he lost his voice. Feeling pretty sick from UMG. So going to be looking to see how JCap plays. Well, there's your final kill cam from JCap. Game number three going to the boys in blue, staying alive in this series. 35 and 23 from Octane. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. Game four, hard point on retreat. Up after this.